Um, in, in this particular case, uh, we know that the, the route for the drive from the chip, and by the way, have you driven this route? I have driven this route, and I've seen the GoPro videos of it. Okay. You've been provided maps and mm -hmm. everything. Um, so you yeah, actually drove it twice. Okay. Do you know that uh, we're talking about a very short duration? Um, can, uh, in some instances, clear that you turn quickly, maybe as even 40 seconds or so, get to the light, um, and through that light, we're talking minutes, right? Can we have this type of memory failure in that short a period of time? Absolutely. Shorter. Absolutely. We study cognitive phenomena on the order of milliseconds. Events that are occurring in your mind and in your behavior on the order of a thousandth of a second. 30 seconds, a minute. Heck, you could even say one hour. Those don't sound like long periods of time conversationally. Try sitting just by yourself for one minute. Psychologically, that's a lifetime. It's a very, very long period of time, and your mind will go from topic to topic. You'll think about different things. You'll have many different experiences. I think that sometimes, <coughs> as a cognitive psychologist, we think about how the mind works on a very, very quick time schedule. And I think other people who haven't taken the classes, who haven't gone through all the papers that we've gone through, who haven't tried to publish an article that has a 20 millisecond difference and try to understand what that 20 millisecond difference is, naturally would think 30 seconds isn't that long. A minute's not that long. Lots of things can happen cognitively, biologically in your brain, in seconds. Lots of things.